Hey guys, going on Megan here. I got a lot of requests to make uh, the one hour long Nicholas of a Lord video a lot shorter. So I'm going to try to do it in five minutes. So let's get straight to it. Nicholas of a Lord proven in five minutes. So first, how did I create a Nicholas of a Lord program? How, how did it all start? First, I started with broad science observations, right? Growing up looking at manual workers, athletes, friends, even myself, I noticed three consistent trends. One, the people that will overwork or overtrain the muscle every day for brief periods of time will have that muscle pretty much be overdeveloped when they started bodybuilding, right? Or even if they didn't have to start bodybuilding, that muscle was noticeably bigger, right? Overdeveloped. The second thing is they often took long breaks. You know, a lot of these people, uh, again, the workers, if you watch the longest video, I explain every single scenario, um, but they will take long breaks. So they will overwork the muscle for a short period of time because of the job or, you know, if they were athletes, whatever, and then they would take breaks, right? Not on purpose, you know, it was just part of the job. Um, and each time they came back, they were noticeably bigger. And I noticed this trend throughout my whole life growing up, right? And a lot of them, when they would join bodybuilding, the muscle they used to overtrain will grow exponentially faster, right? That was one of the biggest observations. But I never really understood why, because when I started training, you know, I was reading magazines and it was all about bro splits and training muscles once a week. So I never really understood why, but the the, the evidence was so overwhelming. Again, go look at the one hour video if you have time, um, that I just couldn't ignore it, right? So I started making videos about it. I was like, guys, you know, like I'm noticing this, I'm noticing this phenomenon. There's no science behind it at the moment, but I'm pretty sure the science will catch up. And that's what I used to say in all those videos. You could still go back and watch them. Then eventually the science breakthroughs came, right? The biggest one was the rat study that showed that if you overtrain the rat's leg, you know, by obviously damaging the other leg, you get a huge increase in muscle nuclei. For those who are not familiar, muscle nuclei is pretty much what the DNA is, right? You can't build muscle without your nuclei. That's where your genes are, right? Um, and also, the second observation was that the more nuclei a muscle has, the faster it grows, right? Which explains muscle memory, which is how steroids work. You know, explains why when you take a long break and you come back to training, your muscle grows so much faster because you lose the muscle, but you don't lose the nuclei. Right? And obviously, the third study was uh, mTOR, which is the you know the main agent in protein synthesis. You know, it activates P seven E S six K, all that shit. Um, it's, it gets desensitized the longer you train, so you get the the biggest adaptation response within the first two to four weeks. And then after that, even if you keep training, you get less and less gains, which is why train lifters notice that it's harder and harder to keep growing because the mTOR is desensitized, right? But when you take breaks, it comes back. So long story short, I decided to put all that together. I was like, all right, how, how do I combine the bro science observations that I saw growing up with what the, st the studies were showing at the time? And I put it all together, and I decided, okay, I'm going to call it Nucleus of a Low. I, I don't know what to fucking call it, right? Because everyone would just come, come on my videos and say, oh, that's overtraining. you overtraining the muscle. And I was like, guys, you know, I'm not referring to over overtraining your entire body or you overtraining your mind. I'm just referring to overworking the muscle. So finally, to end all the confusion, to end all the confusion, I decided to give it a name, which was a nucleus overload because you're getting a lot of nuclei in that muscle, right? And based on the observations, again, from looking at my friends and myself, the athletes, all the stories, I decided to structure a 30-day program putting all that together. And I said, one, train the muscle every day, right? High to moderate reps so that, you know, you don't cause, you know, lead to too many injuries or whatever for 30 days, right? Second thing was take at least a one or two week break to resensitize the muscle and let it recover. This was all just me bro science saying, and going off observations and what I knew at the time. And the third thing, and I told everyone, you, you can still go back and watch those videos. You know, thank God they're still on YouTube. That's the one who will fucking believe me. That was back in 2011, 2012, and 2013, right? Over seven years ago. And I would say, you won't see gains at first, but when you return to normal training with the newly acquired nuclei, you should grow faster. And this is pure bro science because we didn't have any human studies at the time. And I got a lot of criticism. Number one, it was, oh, that's bro science. Number two, People saying training almost every day will make it shrink. It only works on rats, not humans. It won't bring up black and body parts. Blah, 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 blah. And boom. In 2018, this study came out showing that your initial growth doesn't require new nuclei. Obviously, when you're a beginner, you can just grow. But further growth after that requires way more nuclei. Right? So any growth past 22% requires an addition of the nuclear from satellite cells. And finally, the best nuclear silver load study ever, which came out in 2019 from Bjorn and, and his team. It blows my mind because this is literally nuclear silver load. Check this out. Here's a summary. You guys can go check it out. Number one, they picked a group of men and they overtrained the muscle for two weeks. Right, So they train the muscle every day up to twice a day in some days for up to two weeks. You know, they took breaks in between. 
low weight to high reps. They use blood flow restriction training. Katsu, I made videos about that. No gains at first, just like I explained over seven years ago that you won't see the gains at first, but they'll come later. And watch this. Huge gains in satellite cells up to 147% increase and also a 31% increase in nuclei, as well as gains in strength and size. Guys, this is literally almost word for word nucleus overload. The proof is there. All the people, all the criticism, everyone that said, oh, it only works on rats, it doesn't work on humans, it's bro science. That's like you're telling you guys. A lot of time, the science will catch up to the bro science. Not all bro science is true, but when you're in the face of overwhelming evidence, you have, you have to take a leap of faith. And here it is, science has proven the nucleus overload does work. All right, guys, that's it. Ah, oh, fuck, six minutes. All right, I'm out of here. Peace. Don't forget to like, subscribe, comment below. I'm out.